Are you confident in your own morality? Now, maybe that sounds kind of weird, but our sinful natures are very clever. It can make us say things like, well, you know, yeah, I struggle with this thing, but it's not that bad, or at least I don't struggle with that, or, you know, I don't do this thing. And it sounds okay. Now, down below, I've linked a, a longer section of scripture. I'm going to encourage you to read it. It's from Philippians chapter 3. It says, St. Paul says, look, I I've got reason to be confident in what I've done. But that's not a good reason to be confident. Because if I'm confident in what I've done, then Jesus says, okay, you go ahead. You stand on your own. But if you stand on your own, you're dead. We've all sinned and fallen short the glory of God. We're all the same. But listen to how Paul wraps up that section. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection. See, I'm not good enough, but Jesus is. And when Jesus died, he gave me his record. That's where my confidence is. It's not based on what I do, it's based on what Jesus has done. And maybe you've seen this theme all this week. That if I base my confidence on me, I'm lost. My confidence is shaky at best. But instead, I see that Jesus has done it for me. And it is complete. There is a source of confidence that cannot be shaken. And so let me encourage you as you come into the weekend, think about why are you confident? What are you confident in? And measure it. And take a look at Jesus and see that there is a good place for confidence. A good place for you to say, here I cannot be shaken because my Savior has rescued me.